Welcome to video number two in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGahey, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 80 countries on six continents. When you look at the tourism model, you'll recognize the topics in many future videos, such as the Tourism Stakeholders Triangle. Many other important topics are there also, and others are hidden within one or more of the featured components. Since most people have some travel experience, they think they also understand the tourism industry. But that's a bit like driving a car and thinking you also understand the automobile industry. Tourism is a complex system with lots of moving parts. So how do you explain it to everyone from students to government officials? A tourism model helps. Its labels and relationships help to identify its major components, internal and external, and depict the roles that each of them play within the tourism industry. There are many tourism models, and none is perfect. This is just the one that I developed in an attempt to make sense of all those moving parts. The tourism model flows from top to bottom in the manner that a destination is developed and the tourism industry within it operates. It begins with the tourism foundation components. The first part of the foundation components includes the destination's vision of the tourism industry it hopes to create, which should be based on the community's values and the tourism philosophy that is developed in correlation with those values. Next comes the second part of the foundation components. Tourism policy is government-led and provides the guidelines and legal framework for building a tourism industry that will realize the destination's tourism vision. Tourism planning is a joint public-private sector effort that lays out the programs and activities that need to be accomplished to achieve the destination's goals. And tourism development is mostly private sector entrepreneurial activities that create the majority of facilities and services that cater to tourists. Now for the guts of the tourism industry, its four operational sectors. These are the highly visible businesses or government agencies that provide the facilities and services that are necessary to attract and satisfy tourists. The first two, transportation and attractions, are the travel sectors. And the last two, accommodations and food and beverage, are the hospitality sectors. The four operational sectors are where most of the jobs in the tourism industry are located. Destinations are highly competitive in today's world of jet travel and internet awareness. Successful destinations must identify what makes them special in the marketplace and capitalize on their unique selling propositions. To do this, they must protect their sense of place and other special attributes that set them apart from other destinations. Professional organizations and associations are also necessary to develop tourism industry cooperation and leadership within each destination. As you may have noticed, we've been discussing some of the primary roles of the Tourism Stakeholders Triangle, the government, the tourism businesses, and the local community. Each of these stakeholders has many resources and many responsibilities. Often there is overlap among the three, so public-private sector cooperation and community involvement are absolutely critical to a destination's success. More about the Tourism Stakeholders Triangle in video number four. Tourists are the focal point of all these efforts expended to build and operate a successful tourism industry. They can be domestic or international tourists, they can be backpackers or passengers on a luxury cruise, and they can be traveling for pleasure, business, or visiting friends and relatives. The goal of every destination is to attract tourists from their target market and profile and get them to stay longer and spend more money. The topic of one of our future videos will be evaluating inbound tourism numbers. It's important for many marketing, planning, and operational reasons for destinations to know how many tourists are visiting each month, season, and year, as well as what they're doing, how much money they're spending, and how satisfied they are with the local tourism products and services. Tourists can bring great benefits to a community, or they can ruin it. Examining tourism's triple bottom line of impacts tells the story. While most of the attention is focused on tourism's economic impacts, the question is, does it truly benefit the local people and enhance their standard of living? 
and in all the development to build the tourism industry and all the activities required to operate it effectively, how is this affecting the local people's quality of life and their physical environment? A future video will discuss all these impacts. As you can see, the tourism model has numerous components, all of which have many additional subcomponents that need further discussion and a great deal more elaboration. So there will be many more bite-sized videos that will attempt to demystify tourism. I hope this run through the tourism model has been of value to you. Now I invite you to watch video number three, The Golden Rule of Tourism. Thank you.